Hi guys, good morning. How the hell is everybody doing? I am doing fantastic. As you guys can tell, I am not in my apartment. I'm actually at my parents' house. I'm in Phoenix. I got to Phoenix yesterday, but I didn't vlog it because the podcast is up. The first episode of our podcast, Abnormally Disabled, is up right now on my YouTube channel, and I didn't want to overload you guys with like two videos in one day when I'm filming and posting one video every single day for the month of October. So I figured instead of a vlog yesterday of me just on the bus for eight hours, I figured it'd be more entertaining for you guys to watch the first episode of our podcast. So that is the video that is up for day five of our Vlogoween month videos. And today, day six, is going to be a regular vlog. So if you guys have not seen the podcast yet, it is up right now on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description box below as well as a little card annotation wherever it pops up so you guys can see our new podcast. It's really funny, it's really entertaining. Me and my cousin have such good uh, chemistry and she brings out the best in me. So it's really, really, really nice to like have a co-host to like riff with and talk shit with. And it's just, it's really exciting and I'm out of breath. And it's also, 11.54 and it just premiered at 11.45 and it's just such an exciting time in my life to like actually have something to look forward to every week. Um, right now, like I said, I am in Phoenix in my old room. I just woke up. Uh, I need to do some errands. So I need to shower, I need to get ready. The weather in Phoenix is a little hot. Um, even though it's October 6th, it's still a little, it's still a little crispy outside. So that's fun um i think today we're gonna go to olive garden with the family just me my dad my little brother and my mom i invited my cousin my cousin i invited my sister-in-law and my brother and my niece but they're still a little like weary about the coronavirus and they don't like to go out to eat or be around people in public um so they're not coming but we might hang out with them later on tonight and uh yeah so i'm gonna go shower because i look like a hot fucking mess and then um we gotta go to the bank Oof, gotta go to the bank, run some errands, and uh, see what else we have planned for the day, because I don't know. All I do know is that I need coffee. As you guys can tell by the change in outfit and the messy hair, it is the next day. And I just woke up two hours ago. I was up all night this morning, I was up all night last night, and all morning this morning. I didn't sleep till like eight o'clock in the morning. Um, so that was fun, and then I knocked out. I actually wanna go get some Dutch Bros coffee this morning, and uh, didn't even finish it. I drank like half of it and then I knocked out and I'm like, I got an extra shot. So the fact that the coffee is, didn't keep me awake shows you how fucking tired I was. I did not film anything yesterday, guys, after that little intro video. I didn't film anything. Me and my family went to Olive Garden. We had some dinner and I, I really didn't do anything that whole entire day besides like film the intro, um, premiere the podcast, which by the way, came out to a great success in the premiere hour that it was up and premiering. We got 12 views, which is, I know it's a little bit and I know like it's not a lot, but to me, for 12 people to premiere to watch my podcast was something that was just like really, really amazing and I'm so grateful for it. And hopefully as the podcast grows, our audience grows with us and we can get more people watching on the premiere and we can get more people to watch the podcast. So obviously I didn't post yesterday um and that is because i have not done anything since being in phoenix guys i don't think i'm gonna <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna do the daily vlogs for vlog a week because like they're not gonna be interesting it's literally just gonna be me talking in my old bedroom and that's it like i am not doing anything right now so i think i'm gonna stop the daily vlogs for now i don't know if they'll pick back up when i go back to long beach but <laughs> For now, this is, uh, you're, you're just gonna get regular videos, regular vlogs every couple of days. Um, right now, I got a shower. I haven't eaten yet, so I'm hoping to uh, go get some food. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. Probably like mod. I'm craving a little mod or I don't know. I don't know what I'm craving, but I'm craving something. So I'm gonna go shower because I literally, I look fucking disgusting. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you guys that I bought a new a uh, variable ND filter for my camera from Amazon. I needed a new one because the one that I had was all scratched up and old, but I got a new ND variable filter because I'm gonna go take pictures of my cousin in Mexico because uh, it's her quinceanera next weekend. And she wanted me to be her photographer, which is a huge compliment that she wants me to take her 
uh, quinceañera photo is one of the most important photos in a 15 year old's life. And I needed the right equipment so that when I took pictures of her, it wasn't like overexposed or too bright. The sun right now is just like really fucking bright everywhere and like it would not make for a cute photo if the background was all like shot and like overexposed. So because I have a 35 millimeter 1.4 lens, when I shoot for like portraits or like photography and like modeling, I like to shoot at like the lowest aperture so that we can get like that. I'm sorry, not the lowest aperture, the lowest f-stop. Yeah, I like to shoot at the lowest f-stop so that I can get the blur in the background and get like that really crispy, clean um, photo. And without the ND filter, that will not be possible without having an overexposed background. So. I got a filter that fits my my lens right now, the 24 to 70 G2, but I also got some adapters to be able to connect that 82 millimeter lens filter size to the 72 millimeter filter size that the 35 millimeter has, and they're like 10 bucks on Amazon. They had like a lot of adapter rings for it, so that's gonna be really it's gonna come in handy for when I get other lenses that are different filter sizes. But I'm excited. I'm excited to go to Mexico. I'm excited to. Uh, Photograph my niece. I think she's my niece, second cousin. I don't know how Mexican families work. She is my mom's brother's daughter. So like, I guess niece, cousin-in-law, cousin? My cousin, she's my cousin. But aside from that, you guys, I am gonna go shower. I'm gonna go get some food and we'll see what happens the rest of the day. Hi guys. I just want to quickly apologize for the fact that my hair looks like a fucking mop. Um, it's literally 3.19 in the morning on Sunday, October the 11th, and um, I have not had the best week. I have not filmed, vlogged, or done anything productive since I got to Phoenix on Monday, October the 5th. I've literally spent every single day that I've been in Phoenix last six days sleeping all day and all night like i can't find the strength to get out of bed in the morning so i just like stay in bed and i sleep all day and then whenever i do leave the house it's just to get food and then i come back home i eat and then i go back to sleep and this was a recurring pattern when I used to live in Phoenix. Um, the last like year of my life has been me stuck in this like depressive episode of like whenever I come to Phoenix, I feel like my life is kind of at a standstill. Like my life is kind of paused because <laughs> there's really nothing in Phoenix for me and I think that was mainly the reason why I moved to Long Beach when I moved was because it was getting to that point where all I was doing in my own apartment was paying like 700 a month in rent only to sleep all day, eat all day, not work out, and get fat. And it's like literally my parents live on like the west side of Phoenix and if you guys have been to Phoenix and if you guys are familiar with the west side, you know that that doesn't really have anything around it it's, it's just it's such a depressing state it's such a depressing city and i think for the longest time like i tried making the best of it you know living in downtown phoenix for the, the six months that i lived there at the apartment that i had was one of the best times in my life but still not one of my mentally healthiest times in my life um I dealt with a lot of depression while I was there. I dealt with feeling alone. You know, when the pandemic hit, I was literally living alone at that apartment, you know. Nobody could come by because of COVID. Nobody wanted to visit you because they were afraid of this pandemic. And it was just a very isolated feeling. And... I'm finding myself feeling that feeling right now and I'm only visiting Phoenix for like two weeks and I'm already like going on a downward spiral of depression and um, 
I don't know, it's, it's, it's been kind of weird being here, if I'm being honest, and I don't know if coming back to visit after this trip is going to be something that I want to do. And I know it sounds fucked up because, like, my family's here, you know, my parents, my brothers, my sister-in-law, my niece, and next month is Thanksgiving, and it's my brother's 16th birthday, and it's Christmas is coming soon, and New Year's is coming soon, and I just honestly want to see what it feels like to celebrate holidays by myself, you know? I've always kind of been forced to come to my family's house for Thanksgiving and for Christmas because the family has to be together and we all have to spend the holidays together and the older that I get the more that I realize like that's a toxic thing to tell your family you know you have to come you have to celebrate it's family it's time for family and it's like I'm 29 now and I feel like I can make my own decisions now and like just see what it's what it's like to not be in Phoenix for a bit. Maybe I'll miss it. And the next time that I come back, whether that's weeks from now or months from now, it'll be better. But I think right now, Phoenix just is not bringing any joy, any of the smallest amount of joy that it still held to me. And the reason why I kept coming back the last two, three months it's just like slowly going away and I don't entirely know why. I think it's because ever since the pandemic, I've kind of lost all of my friends, you know, um, all of the bonds that I had made in Phoenix have just kind of like dispersed, you know. A lot of my friendships were tied to drinking and hanging out together and being close and going to the bars and going to get brunch and it's like, all of those friendships that I have had for the last decade have just kind of disappeared. And I think that was the last thing that was holding me on to Phoenix, you know. Besides my family, of course, but I don't really count them in this situation that I have in my hands right now. Because family is family, and regardless of what I'm going through, they're always there. But, you know, friends don't have that responsibility they don't have to be there for you you know I don't know it's it's I'm, I'm in a really weird mindset this week and I want to get out of this slump really 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 bad I've only been eating once a day as well <laughs> the last six days which is not unusual for me but like I literally the only time that I'm up is to eat and I am just feeling overwhelmed being here, if I'm being honest, and, you know, I feel, anytime I step into this house, I feel like I'm, like, 16 again. I feel like I can't do things without being asked, where am I going, who am I going with, why am I going outside so late, and that was partially the reason why also, I had left Phoenix is because if I lost the apartment because of COVID, if I lost the apartment because of the pandemic, I would have to come back to my parents' house. And coming back here with the way my parents are, kind of like overprotective and overbearing for my mental health and my mentality and me as a human, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't come back to that. And I don't know. I'm I'm kind of ready to go back to Long Beach, honestly, and just continue to live my life, you know, technically on my own with my cousin, but still having a better mentality being there, you know. Granted, I still don't do shit when I'm in Long Beach, but I have the option to go work out at the beach. I have the option to hang out with my cousin and go grab lunch and eat with her and have that feeling of closeness and family because she is family but then have that time to be alone and have a time where she doesn't ask me who I'm going with 
where I'm gonna go hang out, why I'm going out this late, who am I gonna go see, how long am I gonna be out for? Like she, <laughs> she's an adult as much as I'm an adult and we both respect each other's decisions to like, okay, I'll see you later, I'm gonna go out, okay, bye, I'll see you later. And then like, if we don't hear from each other in like a few hours, we'll text each other and be like, hey, are you okay? And she'll be like, yeah, I'm just doing this and I'll be home soon. And I'll be like, okay, cool, have fun. and. It's just weird being back here for this long, you know? I haven't been back in Phoenix and stayed for like two weeks in since I lived here. You know, the, the first time I came here was around August for my birthday and I was here for like maybe a week and then I came back again in September for another week and today I'm here in Phoenix for two weeks because on Friday I have to go to Mexicali, as you guys know, for a quinceañera that I'm gonna be the photographer of slash attend because it's my cousin's 15 and so I, I was like yeah I'll just I'll head to Phoenix a little bit earlier just to hang out with my family and um, you know spend time with them and, uh, and then we'll go to like Mexico I'll do my thing over there and then I'll come back with Lauren but there hasn't been much family time my brother he's about to be 16 and he's hanging out with his friends and he, you know his time is all like bucked up with them and I understand it because at that age that's how I wanted to be you know I wanted to always be with my friends and hang out and go with them to the mall and go with them to the stores and you know I, I wanted to not be in the house and good for him that he has that outlet and my dad he spends all day watching TV my mom she's at work all day and then she gets home from her job and she's exhausted and she goes to sleep and I can't really see my older brother <clears throat> because he's still extremely paranoid about the pandemic and my sister-in-law is kind of like stuck in that catalyst of like well she can't come here because then he'll flip out because she's here and he could she could potentially expose him to COVID and can't even hug my freaking niece and give her a kiss on the cheek because my brother will flip out and it's just like this whole pandemic has just put a damper on things and it's really made my mental health fucked up and I'd, if I, I haven't talked about this because it hadn't come up, you know? I would come to Phoenix for a few days and just kind of do my own thing and go back to Long Beach and text my family about how I miss them and how I can't wait to see them next time, but I don't know. This time just feels different. You know, it feels like it's time that I give up Phoenix for a while, you know? And just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this, but, um, yeah, guys, <laughs> this is this week's vlog is me being a depressed, mentally unstable piece of shit. This is life at 29. But hopefully the next vlog you see will be more entertaining. Hopefully me and my little brother will go out to the mall and do stuff and go take pictures and get out of the house for a bit um, and then go to Mexico, do all that fun stuff. And then I'll be back in Long Beach again. So for the time being, I'm gonna keep getting fat, keep getting caffeinated. I'm gonna enjoy the Dutch Bros while I have it. I'm gonna enjoy the oreganos while it's here. Speaking of which, I have not had oreganos in since I last came here in September, and I'm really craving it. I really want some. So, uh, I hope that you guys are all having a good day and a good week and a good month and a good year and a good life, and I will see you guys on the next one. I'm gonna try to go to sleep. I'm tired.